All right. Uh, I don't think we can wait anymore. I don't. Yeah. It's, right. it's like 80 minutes long. Guys. Hey, what's up? I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're here with the last of mm. us. Um, not we're not all here yet, but what's gonna happen? Uh, the Last of Us, the television show, an adaptation of a video game that we've all we've all played actually. Yes, yes. yes. We've all played this game. Yeah, I played it on Twitch. I enjoyed the story. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it was definitely one of my uh, one of my. I don't know if it's my favorite game, but it's definitely up there as far as games that I've really enjoyed that I've played more recently. One of my favorite narrative games. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. And I quite love the soundtrack, the cast, a whole lot of stuff about it. But we should say that if you're coming here and being like, hey, I haven't played the game. I just want to enjoy the show. We're going to do our best to keep this as spoiler-free of the game as possible mm -hmm. up until mm -hmm. they've revealed and stuff. So don't feel discouraged that you're not as familiar with the source material as we might be. We're all here to watch and have a good time together. And I actually think this will be the first time I like the adaptation more because I didn't love the game. You didn't love the game. But I think it'll work better as a TV show. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be fun to, uh, to check in with, too. Uh, this is the first episode, so what that means is that we, over at our Patreon, which is what we use to support and let, let us able to do this all the time, uh, over at our Patreon, we are offering the full-length version of this reaction for everybody. Down in the description and the pinned comment, you can click that. As long as you have it synced up with your own version on HBO, you can watch the entire episode along with us. Uh, I wish I could say that it was all four of us, but it's just the three of us. We have no idea where Calvin is. How long have you been? Guys, don't forget, if you're watching this, then you're probably interested in seeing The Last of Us Part 2 being played, which I am doing right now over twitch.tv slash blindwave. And it is on Monday and Wednesday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you join me for that. Yeah, there's links in the description. <gasps> Those are so helpful. And uh, Dr. Newman, you're also an epidemiologist. I presume the prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. No? No. All right, well, that's our show. <gasps> yeah. I think I recognized him first, Eric. Wow, you did. <gasps> True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over 94 degrees. Mm. And currently, there are no reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures. But what if that were to change? What if, for instance, the world were to get slightly warmer? Climate change. So if that happens, we lose. Dang it. Aaron, I want to watch Spartacus now. No cure. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> That's a cool way to enter that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It really sets up the idea of what the, the premise is, kind of, you know? Same company that HBO's uh, Game of Thrones did this one. Oh. Off of the intro? Yeah. <laughs> Six, you sure love their browns. Oh, yeah. Sure Shoot up good on camera. <laughs> I, sure love, I sure love this song. I could come by after school, but just for like a little bit. Hey, she'll take what you got. Speaking of, we got a lot of extra here. Y'all want some biscuits? Dad, you love biscuits. <laughs> I do. But I'm on Atkins. <laughs> Atkins it's uh, <laughs> you know what? We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. I'll tell you all about Atkins. It's like a battle between yeah. the two. Battle of politeness. Which one has to? <laughs> I love it. Swat. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry. He cannot finish. I'm already finished. You should go home. Tell her why. Go home, everyone's dying. Don't just be like the old dude in Friday 13th. Be specific. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. The way <laughs> I love when they put the blinds down and makes a clock. <laughs> I'm so excited that's so for that. Cool. You're being all practical. <laughs> No, I prefer the opening to Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> he just walks around. Be right there. He's he's faking it. <laughs> what? I like when he puts She's the Yoda. biscuit in my mouth. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, okay. That's creepy. That's so creepy. Ugh. That is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. Hey, Mrs. Adler? 
Hey. Getting Resident Evil 7 vibes. I hate that, that was so great. much. I... Man, Melon be freaking the fuck out. I hate watching it. There's some vibes. I loved that. Oh, no. Mercy. Did the dog realize it? Take Mercy with you. Well. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> that was lame. It You're was lame. I know. <laughs> he was so proud of it, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's one more. A knife. Far no. from the apples. Oh, this what is, is this? Curtis and the Viper. Two. That was the. Was it before? 1103. Oh, man. so scary. Law enforcement and emergency services are in the area and will be in contact with further instructions. <laughs> oh. Mercy! Let me in! Don't go outside, naked grandma gonna get you. <laughs> Why naked? Huh? Oh, mercy. Scared. Is that the most terrifying oh, thing you've I'm so naked oh, grandma. I Imagine that. I want to see the dog so bad. Mrs. Adler? Run! The door's open! Is that normal? Yeah. The dog opened it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, blood! Oh. Blood, blood! This is when you leave. You know what? They might need help. There's that much blood. Run! No, run! Oh. Poor Santa. It's like seeing Santa die, yeah. Oh god. It's like ingesting or like infecting. Yeah, infecting yeah. the fungus. Oh whoa, look at that. Run! Run 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 run! Look at her! Shut the door! Shut the door! Get in the truck! Uh, right now! Move! Here she comes, he comes! Oh, fuck, that's good. You gonna shoot her? He's got a wrench. Yeah, he's gonna get a shotgun. Or rifle. rifle. Save your bullets. I don't know, I was like, hit her. Get your seatbelt on. Hold on. Oh, oh man. She got that gun? Fast. Oh, that's those two, okay. No, don't help him! Ah. It takes 70, 71. Oh, oh man. man. The way they're going. This is just like, this is just like it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what hey, you watch him go by, you turn right. Yep. <laughs> we cut across and we pick up on the on the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, west. All right. All right, hang on. Oh, my God. Now people are Now falling. everyone's going. Not every car can do this, though. No. Oh, it looks oh, like it could be a cliff! Shit. <laughs> like, I couldn't see him. There's a fucking like, army there! It's good for they know the area, the though. To get to. All right, keep moving, head north. Could be a lot of people. Oh man, they're gonna watch that truck get blown up by this helicopter or something, aren't they? What the fuck? Oh! Oh my god. Oh, Alright, keep going, keep going. Oh, shit. oh, here it is! No, oh, my oh, god! That was brilliant. Oh. That was so good. Everyone. Oh my gosh! Everyone that played the game just thought that was gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, shit! Move! Move! Oh, no! Oh, my god! Man. Oh. That was so good. Man, how long was that still going without cutting? We're like out cutting, cutting. Very. Uh, I, I feel know. like it went for a while. Yeah, since the since the planes. Planes, yeah. Are you okay? My ankle. Right. Okay. We gotta get off the street. Oh man, good thing got out of there in time. Damn. Oh my gosh. That's so scary. Dude, it's so good. He got up so quick. This is making up for eight seasons of The Walking Dead that zombies weren't scary. 
right? That's so scary. This is the rage zombie method, you know? Like it's yeah. just it's day one. We're not sick. Sir. We are not sick! I'm sorry. Please stop. Baby girl, come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Come on, come on, wake it up. Come on, baby girl. Come on, come on. Come on. Now, your shit has pretty much ruined my week. And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So are we good? Makeup on that eye is amazing. Yeah. Like it's shiny. Yeah. Oh shit! Now it's worse. Fireflies. Oh jeez. Huh? Glad he was standing there, I guess. That guy disintegrated. Guys. Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. One. Two. I love her already. <laughs> Nothing? Is there any chance it's coming in at night? You're sleeping, you miss it? When I'm sleeping, Gabriella listens, or my son, the smart one, not the other one, God bless him. <laughs> J Joel, it's in Wyoming. Uh, all, all this open country? You're a capable guy, but there are worse things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. But you're sure Tommy's okay? I'm so happy that he's nailing in this character. Like, he feels like he's about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. You know? But, like... Still going. The guys who jumped me were with Robert. He sold on battery to someone else. Nothing's lost. This shit like this is gonna happen. Truck's no good with that one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. We get our money back and the battery of it, Joel. Listen, Robert is terrified of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him. But I would very much like for you to hurt him. <laughs> We're quitting? No. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. From our guy in the radio tower in Salem. Is this real? I believe it is. <clears throat> hey, friend. Don't worry, I don't want anything. But if you're feeling lost... You tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> look for the light. Okay. Ready? Uh. It's dark. Doesn't help make the TV brighter though. I don't know why. Man, that would be crazy if it did. Wouldn't that be great? That would be great for Game of Thrones. Can you imagine if you, like, maybe you don't have a real flashlight, but you have like an item that you could point at different parts of the screen and it would make yeah. parts brighter? Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck. oh, shit. Yeah. This one's done. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Stick a fork in it. Let's keep moving. 
looks so good the way it's like spreading out on the yeah. wall. It had all of his flesh and his organs inside. Mm -hmm. The fuck? Someone put a piano in front of us? You smell that? Body? Yeah. Gunpowder. Uh. Somebody's been here already. Yes. <laughs> Is that that one guy? Yep. That's the bad guy. The guy that coming here to kill. Here's the battery, right? Mm-hmm. What would what they? Hmm. Well, the battery's no good. He still tried to sell it. Twice. We were gonna move Ellie out of the zone tonight, but we won't make it anywhere like this, not for a while anyway. So now I'm thinking, you're gonna do it. The I'm not going with them. Let me take her. Tess, we don't have time for this. Oh, you don't have time? Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people, sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. Let's go. <laughs> Ellie has joined the party. I wonder if I have any like sneaking kind of moments. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like so many of the costumes are just the game costumes. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The attention to detail is pretty immaculate. Like her hoodie and stuff. Yep. Well, I mean the game. I think did a lot of research and had just realistic costumes. You know. Yeah. Give us a minute, all right? Yeah, it helps. What the fuck? The same guy. <laughs> Sorry. So what's the plan? <laughs> no, it helps it what? The same guy's making both. The oh, same yeah. guy made the Wing Commander movie, too. Doesn't always work out. <laughs> so who's Bill and Frank? The radio's a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? <laughs> oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What? What was the song? I kept saying, like, like, wake me up before you go, go. Gotcha. 80s means trouble. Code broken. Spot under Lancaster looks good. You got a jacket in your pack? Yeah. Okay, get it. It's time to go. She has a jacket in there. We had jackets in our packs. Yeah, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and a flashlight. And that was in the other part. Tattoos. I was like, what and was a she? beanie. I feel like I would want food and water and. She had a knife. Like a bandage. <laughs> Probably gonna need a bandage. Poncho. <laughs> yeah. Tint. Yeah, I don't know. Get down. No. Holy shit! I'm actually outside. Oh, Oh. You stay close and you follow my lead. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Questioning his decisions yeah, already. Yeah, what are we doing this kid? <laughs> I'm so excited to watch this part when the AI doesn't fuck with me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me go around! No! Sit down! <laughs> Was he pissing on the fungus? <laughs> the hell? Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't move! <laughs> don't move! Oh, is that, that's that one guy, right? Yeah, it's so, the yeah. guy. Risk my job for half off. Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> hey, what the huh? Fucking bitch! Huh? We can fix this! Move! Uh, don't think you can fix it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Nobody's what he's capable of. I think he 
got him. He flashed back to that. No, 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 I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! Look, look. This is three what? weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. Just look at the old two. Take his gun. Yeah. I love how Tess immediately realizes why that's so important. So! Well, there's got to be a reason why the Fireflies are trying to move this one girl. Where is this? Oh, my music. Aaron, help me. It's got to be 80s. I don't know the song. Oh, I can see their hair. I didn't know the song. Look at that shot. Look at that. I know. Doesn't sound old, like older. That sounds 80s. I don't know the song though. So far, I think it's it sticks fairly close to the original. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like there's a little bit of like wiggle room here and there, but oh, yeah. for the most part, there's a out. lot of things that are just I don't know, straight up from shots, yeah. like shots straight from like at one point when they're driving down, even the people that were doing things. I felt like some of them were doing the like they were just doing the exact same things you saw in the game. Yeah. They just they just played the cutscenes and said, okay, yeah. this is People our storyboard. Do this. <laughs> you guys are doing that. See those guys? You're doing those things. <laughs> yeah, like it feels like a pretty spot on adaptation so far. Like yeah. the nature of the way the game was, there's a lot of cinematics and it's already very like television like. Yeah, yeah. sure. Like so I feel like it's easier to adapt than some other video games. Yeah. Like sure. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, yeah. I suppose. I mean, like in the in the grand scheme, like I we're trying to get a fungus then. Make a Mario video games. Like, well, the levels are just you just do this, yeah. you know. Now you got to really. Adapt, you don't have to do you know? a lot of work to adapt. But you just like, have to make sure that e your actors are doing their job. Right? Even beyond the cutscenes, like, like you still have full control, like in the car where you're looking around, and it's yeah. like a, it's an interactive moment there, you know. And you choose what direction you're looking. And the way they handled this here was, I think, done really well too, where it felt like the video game moment. But also, if you don't know that, I feel like it worked well for the show. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't feel like you would be lost just watching this. No, not time. at all. Any more than you're supposed to be. Yeah, sure. I feel like it was pretty faithful. When I'm watching, I, I think I'm maybe I'm doing it too much, but I'm really trying to look at it as if I've never seen the story before. Uh, it's almost impossible, but I feel like I would be very engrossed. But yeah, like I feel like everyone's seen a zombie movie before. Yeah. So like. But what they did here, that even sometimes, I don't, I don't even get this in the game sometimes, or at least not for, like, the normal zombies, is just the uncanny nature of it being on screen should make you be like, what the, what's wrong? Something's wrong, you know? The, the thing I think this has an advantage of over the game is that as much as I love all the voice actors and stuff in that game, you just can't, you know, divorce face from voice sometimes, right? And when I look at the game... Great performances and stuff, but there's something about actually having zero disconnect between an actor's face and their voice that, like, you know, the Sarah scene, like, it killed me in the game, yeah. And, but here, I knew it was going to happen, and it still killed me because those actors just took that that scenery and shoot it. It was great. It was sad. It was exactly the feeling I wanted, you know? Uh, I have no complaints. Sure. Like, none. And... I, Aaron, I had no. That's Gabriel Luna. It's season four of no, Agents of Shield. That is, yeah, really? yeah. I had no I idea. His, I saw his credit. I saw his thing. credit. I'm like, Tommy. And I went back. I looked at this shot, and I'm like, that's not him. I don't, that's totally. I don't see it. It's him. That's crazy. Sorry, it's just uh, if you. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I very much love this man for many, many reasons, and now I have another one. <laughs> Yet another. <laughs> No, I also really like the uh, the news thing from the '60s, like at the very beginning. Yeah, with John Hanna. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that was all done really well. It was yeah. a lot of fun and like sets up the premise really well it does. of like, well, why are they infected or whatever? And it's mm -hmm. like, well, we don't, you know. Even Joel here is like, we don't know. Terrorists, we, we don't know. There's stuff going on, but like, there's enough information kind of given where you're like, I kind of have an idea of what I think's going on. 
I love the inclusion. It, it's in the game as well, but the, of Sarah being like, is it terrorists? I mean, it's that time, 2003, that's going to be on the forefront sure. of American minds, you know? Sure, yeah. yeah. And also, like, she's feels very concerned, I think, about the whole city thing, right? Because mm-hmm. she had just been in the city to get the watch repaired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's like, what if, what if we're all infected? What if it's all of us or, you know, different things yeah. like that? Like, she's worried that, like, everybody <laughs> in the... In the city that she knows is infected, she's worried that she's infected now, and she's giving it to them. Like for a kid, so many things are just flooding <clears throat> through your mind. Yeah, and yeah, terrorist attack during that time is definitely one of them. Um, I do know one thing about the show. I guess you could say it was spoiled for me, but they've kind of not really uh, completely addressed it. But we did see, you know, that one guy that was all fungused up. Uh, there weren't any spores coming out. From mm-hmm. them, and they didn't have gas masks or anything. The show actually doesn't have spores. Okay, I was gonna, um, I was gonna talk about yeah. that. It was weird. Now, I thought it was kind of funny because the reason they don't is because one of the it wasn't even really a criticism, but Neil Druckmann talks about apparently if they did have spores, we would have been so fucked there would be no way that anybody could ever resist. Yeah, they're microscopic. <laughs> so, like. You know, in a video game, when you when you put this down, you put this up, yeah, we're fine. You know, that's just unrealistic. So to ground it more in realism, they've actually changed the way it. I, I'm not exactly it sure how spreads. it is. spreads. It Whether seems it's just like, like it seems like they they transfer the fungus through like an open wound from yeah, like yeah. an orifice. Well, they've always had that before, mm-hmm. but I think yeah. there's like there's an added section with like I feel like the baking had something to do with it. I think there, it can be transmitted through food, so it has to get inside you. In some way or fashion, mm-hmm. besides like inhaled maybe or yeah. something, because yeah, whenever they were biting on them, there was like those weird extra things yeah. coming they out. They looked like they were little like mushroom sprouts. Yeah. yeah, but then they kept having like it felt like there was like a lantern being hung on the idea of like these cookies and baking and the yeah. biscuits that were being fed, and they didn't eat the biscuits, mm-hmm. but she well, ate I the mean, biscuits yeah. and stuff, like, you know. So, whether well, it was like from the flour, like the you water, have to use yeast in biscuits, right, to get them to raise. Um, that's like a fungus. Not in biscuits. Is it biscuits that don't have yeast? Yeah, biscuits don't I think generally biscuits, have yeast. I think biscuits are mainly like flour, water. But if you want like Egg, bread yeah. or cake or something like that stuff, you have yeast in something it. Something that's more porous and mm-hmm. is a leaven. Because I thought about yeast too at bread. first, and then I was like, well, I don't think biscuits have yeast. So if you're watching and you you hear other people talk about spores, what are spores? We don't have to worry about spores in this one. Which, sure. honestly, in the game, I never really worry about either because it was an automatic, your character puts the gas mask down. So I, I didn't never, like that it differentiated it from zombies. Like, yeah. it wasn't just a bite. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, mm-hmm. I guess, if you think about it too much. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, I got a gas mask that protects me from the spores. The spores yeah. are big enough, they can't go through it. It also gives, it. like, a visual indication. Yeah. Of, like, this area is different and dangerous and yeah. has sure. popped. Plus, it's also the idea of, like, the ants, right? Like, the ants would climb up and explode their heads or whatever and then those spores would infect yeah. other stuff. I'm sure if you took a bite of that shit mm-hmm. it wouldn't be good oh, for no. And we don't know anything about are they going to replace what spores did, you know? Like we just well, sure. sure. Like how many how many changes will they make and yeah, how? Are they shooting like poison darts now or something? Sure. Well, what, what kind of monsters or creatures or whatever do we get and all that kind of stuff too. I loved yeah. I loved the one chasing them through like the Kitchen place. The diner. Yes. Yeah, like yeah. the diner and was, everything was just great. Even just that one shot of just in the back. Just him, like. <laughs> well, the old that lady. So the old lady behind oh, lady was, was real yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, so creepy. I love how whenever she ran out the front door, she like clipped to the edge. You know, just not. It's not good. Not great yeah. at what they're doing, but still terrifying. Well, the one caught the uh, screen door out of the diner. Uh-huh. It fell, and it was like mm-hmm. didn't hit it that much, but it was yeah. enough to just. They're already yeah. off balance and just running. Mindlessly, I suppose, right? Yeah. So getting caught just a little bit knocks her balance down. Seen quite a few old lady zombies, but mm-hmm. she did really, really good. Yeah. She did. She might be the best yeah. that I've seen. I've seen. She could be the best. I've seen an old lady <laughs> like sleeping and like her head rolling as she like snored. And it reminded me of that. <laughs> yeah. And it's just. I, I, I felt a, a, a weird, like, body horror discomfort at the time watching her sleep, but that just puts it in a completely different yeah. light. You yeah. know, I, Calvin, I just want to, like, 
And like you're just like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like your eyes just open up. <laughs> but you know, it's I don't. Th- we shouldn't le- leave it unsaid. Like there is kind of a, uh, you know, in our culture, media culture, is zombies. You know, like zombies. we had some of these zombies when this game came out. That was like the peak of zombies. You know. Yeah. Uh, so what they had to do is they had to not only nail it to make it feel like it's scary. But everything else has to be good too, because you can't just come for zombies anymore. You have to have everything else, you know. Yeah, yeah. We got like post-apocalyptic yeah. here, right? Like really good set designs. I feel yeah. like I do like the amazing set, feels set designs. Old, lived in, diseased. Yeah, I, I do want to see the car scene again. And like, I didn't really pay attention until like started getting later into it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there was within this they've hidden the cut Pans, for yeah. the the truck like edges and stuff. But I'm like, it felt so long, and I was wondering how long they it went for it. It was so good that if they just said like we didn't actually cut that. Time, I would have believed. I believe him. You know. Yeah. Like you could hide ones in there if you wanted to. But sure. I figure they did. I mean, just with like airplanes crashing, yeah, all yeah. the people everywhere and yeah. stuff. Like you know, they, like there's so many variables of things that could mess it up. I figured you would cut it, but it just it gelled yeah. so well that I, I believe that it was just like this one shot going through, showing everything, and yeah. I thought it was really good. I just I, I've yeah. seen before, you know, some stunt people or or shot direction people being kind of disappointed that everybody just kind of knows the language of when you should cut and when you shouldn't that when they put the effort and they actually don't have a cut they get accused all the time of like well there's a hidden cut here and a hidden cut here because i know how cuts are done and they're like actually we didn't cut anything at all so i just i want to leave it open that they could have just done it sure you know it's like when there's a real magician no one's gonna believe him yeah <laughs> yeah right <laughs> someone with real magic yeah, yeah. someone with actual magic that i can... actually can magically link these right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no <laughs> trick but no one gives a shit because everyone no. is tricking <laughs> yeah i uh i also there was something about the scene when joel breaks and he just starts killing uh that guard mm-hmm. right no yeah there was like, i love it when i'm playing joel I have a connection, and I am Joel. So when Joel goes too far, I'm like, yeah, and I'm, I'm keep pressing the button, you know. But there's something about being divorced from that process and watching it. That's and we get to see it from Ellie's perspective. Yeah, right? and I'm like, oh man, he's uh, yeah. He's I, a when they say man. like, I know the things that you can do. Like he can do some very terrible things, and I don't really think I've ever really felt that more than watching it from the outside perspective. Really, I think yeah. the interactive, you feel it way more. Really. Hmm. I think because I'm participating, I feel like I'm self-justifying. Whereas here, I can look at it from an outside perspective and be like, "Oh, he didn't have to. He doesn't have to bust that guy's face in. He don't have to do that, Joel. You know." But I don't know. Maybe while I'm playing, I have bias. Like, ha! I and, fucked him up. Yeah, I certainly do that in God of War. <laughs> you know, Over when someone Joel. knocks on the door of Kratos' God of War, like you know, because he's a different person now. But when you knock on the door of him, I'm going, hey, yes. <laughs> but I shouldn't do that. That's not the character doesn't want that. But I do that, so I think it might be a good exercise for me to uh, try to not be biased against uh, for him sometimes. It's just have you holding the controller while you're watching the show. I should. <laughs> and like, like, yeah, it like it buffers <laughs> if I mess up the quick time event. <laughs> Uh, I like the misdirect. Like one, I liked all the planes crashing. Like that was like just a crazy sight to just yeah. see all these planes coming and stuff. Mm-hmm. But the misdirect of the car, like crashing in, yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Like because I, even I was like, oh, here it comes. Yeah. Oh, it stopped. Okay, yeah. okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> and then you see a plane coming right at you. And like, oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Uh-huh. It was really good. Also, I like the uh, talking about the news in the very beginning. But they talked about how. Well, fungi can't infect humans because anything over 94 degrees and stuff, it doesn't work and whatnot. But then they brought in like a climate change type of thing. It's like, what if the earth heated up? Yeah. And now this these this fungus needs to evolve and change and mm-hmm. alter how it operates. Yeah. And now it can infect people because it had to do that. I'm like, sure. oh, man. I like, this. I like how the energy then, <laughs> in the studio audience completely changed. It's like, well, what can we do about that? There's no cure. There's sure. no this. Nothing we could do. And yeah. it was like. We lose. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just blank staring. We'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> yeah, I recognize the other, um, the uh, epidemiologist. Mm. Um, the, the really tall guy really that I was like, surely guy. he must be a Russian. I didn't think it was him, but it kind of reminded me of the scientist from Swamp Thing, just because he was tall. Blonde. No, it wasn't oh, him. No, it wasn't him. Kimi? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's uh it is abc and so lost was he was an actor i gotta see him he played a character sure. i believe in in 
Stargate Atlantis, and also um, in Earth 2, I believe. He was one of the main actors in that. Um, I've seen him <laughs> more frequently in roles with very long hair. Hmm. He kind of looks like, uh, damn, what's his name from Dark? Ulrich? Yeah. Oh, uh, Ulrich, yeah. Ulrich. Yeah, he does look like him a bit. Oh, he was Captain Casper Locke in Peacemaker. That was the guy that took over the oh, police dude, station, right? He, yes. This actor really kept together in this scene. Because <laughs> in Peacemaker, they're just like, hey, can you cut loose more? <laughs> Remember those scenes? Yeah. He had one of the most, in Peacemaker, he had one of the most disrespectful kills I've ever seen in anything. Oh my God. And it sickened me. He's in a lot of one this, one that. He's in a yeah. show called Hell on Wheels for uh, quite a bit. Okay. Hmm. He was Damien Dark's assistant in Arrow for one episode. One, one episode. <laughs> one episode. Was that? That must have been the the corn plot. <laughs> the corn. <laughs> it must have been the corn plot. This sounds ridiculous. Arrow watchers are like, oh yeah, the corn. I get what they mean. <laughs> okay. Oh man. But I think it was paced pretty well. 80 minutes long. For being as long as it was, I thought it was paced amazingly. I mean, I have the advantage of, like, you know, knowing where it's going, so I was able to be pleasantly surprised when it would slow down and kind of go other directions. Like, oh, sure. You know? Uh, but yeah, I think so. You know, whenever you said, like, oh, I thought I was going to end there, and I was like, yeah, well, it's a little longer, but I actually quite liked the little extra we had where the music coming across the radio. Well, that last shot was really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're walking in the dark. I was waiting See? for... I mean, there's a reason for it, but I was waiting for like a Willow flashback. It's like, no, we're going to credit you cutting the music. But <laughs> when it's appropriate, I love it. <laughs> That's what it made me think of immediately when it started doing that. It's explained in your When it means something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When it's contemporary. Uh. I thought it was interesting that we didn't have like a. I was waiting for a little bit of an action scene, kind of like in the game. But then we get there and everyone was already dead. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. sure. like we kind of like that's where like the doc thing or whatever happened, right? You're going through sure. and you have to like sneak through an area and whatnot. So. I mean, that's yeah. where like the pace of a show versus a game are going to change dramatically, right? Yeah. But that's why I was wondering too, and I said about it in the reaction, but like, what are, are we going to have like sneaking areas and what are they going to be like? Like, are we going to be like yeah. following closely, will. watching like how they were kind of going through here, so. but you're having yeah. things moving around and stuff and will we have a lot of that and not a lot of that? Will what action sequences that, be like? Will they be more like running away? I think that also makes sense if you cut that area out because it was <clears throat> it was a tutorial zone anyway, right? Sure. So. But I was waiting like I guess like we don't get to see what Joel's capable of uh, capable of except for that one guard right there at the very end. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right? Well that guard and like you see he was a veteran. Well, was that Tommy? Well that could have been. That was his truck, that right? Was his truck. Tommy, I think it was yeah. Tommy's truck. Desert Storm. Veteran. That's why he had the gun. I think he had been in the military. Well, I don't they know live in Joel Texas. Had Everybody had a gun. But the guy that screwed him, like, Tess is like, oh, he's really scared of you. Sure. Yeah. Like, no, no, yeah. He, I know. He but has a reputation of doing things. We're told that he's, yeah. you know, one of those things. So, But we don't get to see why until, like, he punches that one guy at the very end. So it might be good to have that build up where it's like, well, we know what you're capable of. What are they capable of? Yeah. And like, well, that. But I also liked it coupled with, the flashback to seeing his daughter and kind of they're in a similar situation mm-hmm. and it feels like I'm not letting this happen again. Yeah. All it takes is one soldier following yeah. orders. Yeah. So right? I, I charge him and stop it from happening kind of thing. Uh, I got decent amount of questions here that we're going to pull from Twitter. Cool. Um, Lucas, we're going to start with Lucas, who says, given how slow the zombies are in The Walking Dead, which you guys have talked about before, what do you think of the ones in The Last of Us so far? I know that we've only seen runners, but I love them. Loved it! <laughs> yeah, stage, Absolutely yeah. loved one. it. I like a raid zombie. Me too. Especially, I mean, I don't know what they're, what direction they're going to go with everything, but especially day one of the apocalypse, I think. Like, why wouldn't they be able to... You know, I can understand, like, yeah. uh, if the body's rotting, it's not going to be able to do it as much. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I like a rage zombie. Yeah. But I like a lot of normal zombies. Sure. Yeah. I don't like a lot sure. of rage zombies. Yeah, yeah it's like inverse ninjas. <laughs> like, uh, what was it, World War Z, whatever, with Brad yeah. Pitt? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, some of those zombie moments, I'm like, this is yeah. too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, where it's ridiculous. Yeah. Where there's so many bodies, they start behaving like a liquid. It and felt stuff like, like that. yeah, like, yeah, uh, that was a bit much. The clip from, like, that India movie where, like, all the people were, like, a giant snake. You know what I mean? 
But like they were he's all describing like, every Indian movie. Before. No, no, <laughs> it was like one guy, but he's like a ton of him, and he's like connected together into like a giant snake or something, and was like rolling around. If we could watch it right now, I would. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It does sound amazing. No, I. Uh, no, I've seen that. <laughs> you know, trying to watch it, look at it from the first first time. We saw the rage zombies in the beginning, and then twenty years jump, and the only thing we've really seen since in the quarantine zone is just that that fungus stuff. Yeah, guy, we haven't right? seen what it's well, reached now. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. in the big wide shot where they're walking away, there was a clicker on top of a building. Find it. We've also seen a lot of fucking dead bodies being burnt. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, but those small bodies seem to be just people that have been affected. Yeah, like that one little kid. Right I there. see it. It's right there. Oh, right no. there. How in the hell you saw that? Good job, Calvin. Good I saw job. movement. Little clicker. I'm a predator. Right. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Filmatic. Hey, Blind Wave crew. Uh, do you think that we'll get all of part one of the game in this season? I personally think that we'll have two seasons based on the first game. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Sending love from Thailand. Um, I think based on the pacing, there's probably a lot of areas that you could tighten up in the game yeah. and keep it one season mm -hmm. if sure. you wanted to. But I think also there's points where, like, it could Some be character moments. really short, but you could have people involved for a little longer than what they were originally. Definitely, right? yeah. To give you time to get connected to different characters and mm -hmm. whatnot. In this episode, we had a mention of a Frank and a Bill, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, you come across a Frank or a Bill, how long do you spend? Are they there for part of an episode, or oh, do you yeah. spend, like, an entire episode with them, or what do you do, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know how many episodes are the runtime or anything. Neither. I mean, I usually so. just assume there's ten. But if there's ten and they're all 80 minutes, then, yeah, we're probably covering... A good the bit game. of the game. <laughs> Remembering the trailer, I can't wait to get to Bill. Yes, me either. Aaron, you probably don't remember? I don't remember. Hmm. Do you remember who plays Bill? I don't know. Guns, Bacon. I have no idea. It's <laughs> very, very close. Guns, You're bacon. right on the edge. <laughs> I like think Rick's like... Hmm... Uh, up front, Buckle04 says, Love the episode. What do you guys think of the performances? Do you feel like the characters are similar or different? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? The Joel is almost uncanny. Sure. And I, and I feel like it's unfair of me to bring that to him because I'm instantly comparing it to another actor's performance. But I feel like Pedro Pascal played the game, loved it, and is doing his best best to like be that but also he has to let he has to own it yeah. a little bit too so did he play the game do you do we, I, he, i'm saying i feel like he did. sure that's how it, much it feels like he's trying to bring even control. even if he didn't if he just watched like all the cinematics for yeah. the game you sure know? Yeah. or just yeah. watch the playthrough of it just getting an idea of like what that character yeah. feels like and stuff which would be so much more than what so many other actors have done in a video game role where it's like, oh, I'm going to be this person? All right, well. Yeah. Yeah. I did I know see on about. Twitter that the showrunners discouraged the two main actors from... From playing it? From playing it or watching it. Gotcha. Okay, so they wanted to bring their own character to... The I don't know if the actors listen, but... Well, I mean, if you cast correctly, then you're going <laughs> to nail something anyway. Uh, Bella, right? Yeah. Ramsey is Bella just Ramsey. playing yeah. Ellie. Uh, I mean, I feel like she's the most different in terms of you know, the way that she presents, but I think I prefer that more. I think that I was, not to say, it, there was nothing wrong with what Pedro Pascal did. I myself was getting just a slight bit distracted by, man, he sounds just like Joel, you know? But I could see a complete character in Ellie that I thought was different but similar enough where I'm yeah. like, okay, that's her, but that actress is going hard as Ellie right away, and I actually quite enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also think costume wise have been just spot on so many so so many yeah. costumes for so many people. Yeah. I mean there's no reason not to just one hundred percent duplicate yeah. the video game costumes. Sure. Like I don't necessarily so need good. it to be hundred percent the same. Like I'm okay if they take some liberties with this and that. Yeah, sure. You have to. I just want the same feel, you know? Yeah. That's what I want. Which it definitely I feel like it has nailed so far. definitely does. I mean, is there's like a real fucked up city that's walled off yeah. and yeah. Like we talk about Walking Dead and I just think about how that was with like the comics where it's like sometimes it was right on sometimes it like took liberties where things happened earlier or didn't happen at all and I'm, I'm wondering what they do here do they try to just keep it with exactly what happened in the game or do you give it's some a, wiggle room with yeah. like uh, like oh well they get here sooner or this person dies or this person doesn't die or you know whatever the case may be I wonder what they you do you mean like with the truck 
I'm not talking about any specific moments at all. In the no, future. I mean the the moment that we've seen, like th- what when they're being chased. chased. Like there are like they have to kind of like tell the story to new people and subvert the people. You, yeah. you, you're but, the crash. But keeping it yeah. similar enough. Yeah, you know, I so get like it. the crash was there, but it wasn't. It's like and a the plane crash happened, and then what? It's like a very like high tight wire trick they're doing right where they have to balance like people that had never seen this before and also this is one of the best selling games of all time and people know the story you know so like who are you going for because if you lose either of them you're going to tank a little bit right because if the people that have already played don't like it well then the word of mouth is going to come out it's like yeah it was, it's terrible you know that's sure. what happens well, people like are going to do that regardless I yeah, know there's going to be those people who sure. always have a problem with any minute little thing that's I get different. you but when we're watching those things I can always in my head kind of separate like well those people aren't going to like that and these people aren't going to like this you know but I feel like when I was watching this I'm like I think everybody's good right now yeah, this doesn't feel like Halo, yeah. which no. was a big divergence. Big divergence. Sure. But them. they said from the very beginning that it was going to be yeah. different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, if it's too similar, do you end up losing people that play the games because, like, well, I already know this story? Or do you think they stick around because I want to see the story play out exactly like the story plays out? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, think, I don't know. I mean, people will play the game again, you know? Like, I mean, this, sure. To be fair, this first episode does make me want to play the first game again. But it's like, uh, it's like your conversation about, like, Psycho, right? Psycho, like yeah. you could do that exactly one for one of exactly what the previous one was, but is that necessarily what you should do, or should you make it a little different so it's not exactly the exact same thing? Yeah, I mean you're changing mediums, so you have to play to the strength of the medium you're playing in. Sure, and I think one thing with the TV show versus the games, like in the game, sometimes I'm looking the wrong way when something occurs, mm-hmm. you know. Whereas in TV show, I'm never looking the wrong way because no. I'm looking the way they you're want to look. You're looking the right way, yeah, because you get to choose, right? In the game? Yeah, like if there was no. a right and a wrong way, they would point you that way. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you're playing I mean, the game. you could easily be pointing one way where you're not seeing at all what's happening, whatever. So, like, I, yeah. I would consider that being the wrong way. I don't think so. I 100% disagree <laughs> with the point that I'm making is that if you're supposed to be seeing a jump scare and you're looking the other way, you've missed the jump scare. But what you mean, Rick, is that in his playthrough, what he saw was the right way exactly. of seeing it. Yes. Yeah, because it was your choice. That's the reason you You, play video. You chose to look there. Instead of watching. And that was the the correct way. Like, for example. I just, I I would, I I don't know. I I get what you mean. Uh, You played it. That was right. I'm like, no, I should have been, I should have seen this jump scare and I didn't see the jump scare, you know? Or whatever the case may be. I've had that in Dead Space too, And I feel like, damn, I missed that. That would have gotten me so much more if I would have been looking at this area. Mm -hmm. So, I I, I consider that the wrong way. Even though I get what you mean of like, well, it's your, your playthrough, but... No, I won't. I, I will never have that in a TV show. I will always be looking yeah. the right way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is what I mean. I uh, I played High on Life, and for some reason, the look sensitivity on mouse and keyboard was insane. So I turned it all the way down. But for like in character cutscenes and stuff, like first person cutscenes, uh. it would turn me towards where I'm supposed to be looking. But Eric would be talking. Sure. It, and I was so anyway, turning. that's the important thing that I was telling you about. What do you think about it? That's funny. So it, so it would use your in-game speed. For, it would use my uh, in-game look speed. For, that's crazy. Uh, it was really weird and funny. Because <laughs> someone would be talking behind me, and I was like, I try to turn around, and slowly... It's cinematic now. The camera would turn around, and I'm just thinking, like, if my character were actually turning at the speed, like... Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is the person's name, not judgment. (laughs) Manny Sucks at Life says, As a non-gamer, I like the introduction to a new zombie show after feeling burnt out by The Walking Dead. Uh, As I know nothing about the game, I kind of compare these zombies to the ones in my favorite movie of the genre, World War Z. What's your favorite movie in zombie I thought you were going to say 28 Days Later. (laughs) Not World War Z. (laughs) I would probably take 28 Days Later for Rage Zombies over World War Z. Because I just think... Well, World War Z was, I think, good in the beginning. I think by the end of it, I was like, "This is too much," and I'm not, I'm not. It just, it. yeah, bodies can't do that. <laughs> Although there was a Who doctor in that movie who later became Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah. I quite like Wreck slash Quarantine. Yeah, those zombies are. Hmm. I don't remember it too much. Speedy side. Oh, I remember one. That one big lady. Do you remember the old lady? Yeah, there's like a big old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen um, any of those. Favorite zombies, though? Like I said, if there's going to be a lot of them, I really like 
like Dawn of the Dead, you know, like which version? Like just a horde. I don't, I don't know the the newer one in the mall with Ving Rhames. Wasn't he in it? Was it Ving Rhames? Yeah, yeah. I feel like he was in yeah. it. Sounds right. That sounds right. It wasn't I've seen it. Duncan, uh, right? No, I'm pretty sure it was Ving Michael Rames. Clark Duncan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I like those those zombies a lot in there, just because like. It's not like they're really fast, and you can get away, but they just eventually you're you're surrounded. There's just too yeah. many, and you can't get through. Yeah. But with rage zombies, I feel like like a couple of them are just terrifying. But you get a big group of them together and stuff, and you're just like, I can't outrun everybody. <laughs> and then they start running over each other. I, uh, Calvin, as well. I played Resident Evil for the first time this year. And Resident Evil Two remake. Resident Evil Two remake this year, and uh, <laughs> zombies that don't go down after a couple. Shots. They really get under my skin. Yeah. And I hate them. <laughs> but Especially I love when them you... too. Especially once they're on fire and I've shot them a bunch and they're on fire and they're laying their own fire. And I leave and I come back an hour later and they're still on fire and they get up and come after me. I'm like, you're on fire. You shouldn't be able to last for an hour. Plus, There's only so much to burn. It's a lot of fuel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Those are my favorite. Shooting them in the head like either like three times and they're dead. Or the next guy I shoot 11 times in the head. He's still not dead. Yeah. That pisses me off. You better headshots. Uh, Matty D says, uh, <laughs> This made me feel like I was playing the game again for the first time, but I was unsure of the casting of Ellie. But now, after one episode, this amazing actress is 100% Ellie. What do you guys think of the casting decisions? I got a little bit over this episode, but mm-hmm. I liked her. I knew from Game of Thrones that I was going to like her as Ellie. Yeah. Like... I feel like that was just medieval Ellie. <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of enjoyed that she's not, uh, you know, she doesn't look like the average young girl actress we get on a lot of t- television shows. And yeah. I, I think that that's, uh, I don't know, important in a way. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. I like how much attention they've given the previous actors that play these roles the opportunity to talk about how they felt about the, the actors. And you could say, like, well, it's in their contract. They have to say good stuff, but I don't know. It's, it's come across as... They don't have to say that they like the other <laughs> actor's version yeah, better. <laughs> it, it, it's come across pretty sincere, and what I've seen so far, a lot of people have said, like, well, if you like the first episode, I hate the first episode compared to how I feel about the next couple episodes, so I'm, I'm excited for that. It's one of those things where it's like, all right, you've watched the worst episode of the Well, of I think it's a matter, yeah. at least from their point of view, like when stuff will diverge and then you can't get a different uh, feel, of the, feel of the character. I think maybe if I were the original actor, I think that's what I'd be excited for the most, honestly. Sure. It's like, hey, give me an, give me an alternate a version of this and how this could work, but I still feel like you're honoring the character that I've played and loved. It's like know? a what if yeah. kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, casting decisions, though, uh, Anna Trov, I think is her name, as Tess, is my favorite so far, just because I remember Tess. I remember being like, oh, Tess is cool, but she's not there a long a long time. Uh, and it's just a personal for me, but having enjoyed that actress and so many different things, it was just cool to see her here. And again, that makeup on her eye was so well done that like I could almost like divorce myself. That was her <laughs> a little bit. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, she plays the main character in French. I love French. Completely biased. Uh, Day Shuglas says, I absolutely loved the first episode. It's faithful to the games in all the right places while not being uh, a complete carbon copy and also expands on the universe in a great way. What was your favorite change slash expansion slash difference in the game this episode? Um, the opening scene for me. Getting to know the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like one a creepy sure. moment, but also like it just adds a little bit more to where like well, there's a friendly nature between them. Like in the game, like I don't, I don't have any idea who's living around us, you know. Yeah, like I'm just in our house. Specifically sure. here, we're in a cul-de-sac, and everybody at the end of the cul-de-sac kind of lives together and yeah. knows each other. Yeah. Denise houses. there, who's like, oh my yeah. god, Joel. <laughs> and like as they're leaving, and we see a human caring about another human be like that's what's happening all over the place all yeah. over the world and it's very sad and upsetting but just driving away from it and Joel's just like can't think about it right now which is when I think about Joel I think about that he is can't think about it right now because if I do it's gonna haunt me he constantly constantly running away from the things that are gonna give him a lot of stress so I really enjoyed that scene but yeah I think the opening thing is what has the most differences I think for the most part everything else doesn't have too much um, there's the addition, the, the like, 
the girl they tested and then she gets burnt. That's a, an addition, right? Sure. Was that in the yeah, game? Yeah, the shoes. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. It just shows like how dark things mm-hmm. are yeah. and how hopeless. We're going to end with Adam, who said, I love the addition of the fungal threat being something that was initiated by climate change. The game didn't go all that in-depth about the origins of the virus, so I'm glad that we see that in the show. Question, what are some parts of the game that you'd like to see expanded upon? Now, we don't want to go too far into actual spoilers. Um, I honestly, like, I'm kind of more excited by differences, you know? I would just like, there's various characters in the game that we meet along the way. Mm-hmm. I think I'd just like some more time with them. Okay. Rather than it being, like, too short. So yeah, The Last right? of Us Definitely. plus more is what you're wanting. Yeah, right? yeah, so there's some, yeah. The, the almost Last of Us. Mm-hmm. I think there's a few more of us. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, in The Walking Dead, uh, I had read the comics before watching the show, and when it would get to a point where I'm like, uh, that's super diversion. Like, that's completely different than what they did in the comics. I always got excited by that. Uh, I'm not saying I necessarily want that here, but I might chase that dragon of a feeling. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So, I don't know. Do you think we get, like, prequel DLC flashbacks in this? That could be cool. That would be kind of cool. Maybe. I mean, they made a comment, right? They did. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's already a hint of something there. I'm tr- I don't remember if anything like that was in the game initially or not. You don't? Um, remember it. But I remember like a lot of that was the, the DLC stuff. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I don't know. Was the look for the light like that one guy that came up to him and he's like, "You ever no, feel lost? Say, if, you, if you say look for the light, I'm gonna kill you or something like that. Break your jaw. Break your yeah. jaw. Yeah. Do you guys was that in the first game? That stuff? Did you guys recognize any of that? No. Okay. See, that, that played it. That's I mean, the that's the thing I think that we're gonna see is we're gonna see a lot of kind of seeding of themes that will later be expounded on in the yeah. games, I think. Um, that was really the only one that stood out to me. Like, huh, I don't remember that, but that's smart. They probably wanted, for the people who haven't played the game, like, really, like, nail down the fact that Joel doesn't work for anybody, right? Yeah. That he's not fully associated with the Fireflies or anything like that. Sure. Because yeah. then it makes him agreeing to take Ellie. Mm-hmm. And more impactful, right? You need to have some of that stuff there because I think a lot of the Firefly stuff especially was more so stuff I found around the levels as I went. Yeah, definitely. Right? Environmental like, storytelling. Yeah. yeah. So like, <laughs> a lot of letters. A lot of those kind of things stuff, yeah. need to be told probably differently mm-hmm. in a show than just like, I don't know, Joel or Ellie picking something up and just reading it. Yeah, I mean, you could do some of that with like the graffiti and the posters. And yeah, like, yeah. like we had graffiti in them covering it up and stuff. but <clears throat> And the, the little battle that they had. Right where they were fighting the, the sniper Pedro. guy, yeah. mm-hmm. <clears throat> trying to free Boston. Yeah, uh, I'm. I have a lot of things that I'm looking forward to. There's also a couple of things I'm kind of dreading watching, like this opening scene with Sarah. As soon as I'm like, oh yeah, Sarah. Okay, we gotta get through this. This is probably gonna be like five minutes. It wasn't. It was a half hour, and it was great. But and then those I actors figured, came out. We're gonna make you cry, and they did. I figured that's why it was gonna be a longer first episode mm-hmm. because. Yeah. That part there, like, I feel like you need a little time in a in a storytelling format like this yeah. than maybe you would in a video game yeah. where you can play as a character yeah. and you can spend more time walking around and stuff. But it's not that long of a level, really, or anything. Mm-hmm. But getting into this here, like, how you tell that story so that you care enough by the end point there. Exactly. Yeah. But then you don't want to end there because you also want them to feel like, okay, well, this is the world we are going to be in. Mm-hmm. Not this one. We're going to be in this one, you know? So then you got to jump a little further and... Then they give you that little twist there where it's like, what, she's in, what was this? Yeah. Like, look, it's been bitten three sure. weeks. Like, you got you didn't do it. I figured that's where we would end, but I kind of like what Rick said where it's like, I thought this would be the credits right here, but then they yeah. give you that little extra mm-hmm. tagline of the 80s music. I mean, it works. It works in the game and it works here. You have to, people have to feel bad for your main character as fast as possible. You just got to do that. And Harry Potter's a boy that lives under sure. the steps. Then you have him throw another yeah. little kid into the yeah. fire and stuff. But you know, and here is that we're looking at him from outside. Like we're like I said, in the game, it's you. You're going through those things, even though in the game you actually play Sarah at that point, right? Um, so I guess it kind of works in the same way. But you need to be able to sympathize with Joel before you see him just beat a man to death. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know? Well, like, what they do here is what they do in the game, where it's like, yeah, you play as Sarah, because now it's you, yeah. and then you switch, so that whenever you die, because yeah. now you're playing as Joel, like, it's a little bit more effective, because, like, I was that character, and now they're gone. Yeah. But they kind of shot this <clears throat> opening 
half hour or whatever to be as if she's the main character. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're following her and seeing her at yep. school and everything. And yeah, Joel just goes to work and you don't see any yeah. of that. And then he leaves and you wake up and she wakes up and you're still with her and stuff. So like you're following Sarah. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, I feel like it did a really good job with that comparing the game to this of like making sure I cared about that like that character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, it's the Alpha premiere. I am excited for the rest of the show. I'm probably as much as I am excited, I just want people that haven't seen this to really latch on and enjoy the show. The production quality of HBO, how great everything's looked, the direction, the casting, the acting, this can be something very special, not just for people that have no idea about the story, but for those of us that have played the game. But I, I really hope that it captures the, the hearts and imaginations of people that have never played a video game and realize, like, hey, there's some great stories to be told. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not a gamer, come check this out. Yeah, just play it on story mode. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, poll for this week. We want to know if you're out there watching The Last of Us, do you have game knowledge or are you watching this fresh with no idea what happens in the game? I'm curious, like, what the uh, ratio of people are that are like, I watched the game, so I really want to watch this, or like, I have no idea what this is. I should check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, we've all watched it. And we've all played the game. Please yeah. be careful about going into comments, not just on our Patreon, but in this video, all over the internet. People. Uh, sometimes have a hard time realizing that like not everybody play has played this you know million dollar selling game before and, you know and innocently can spoil you so just be careful out there <laughs> treat it like Game of Thrones if you didn't read the books yes exactly Game of Thrones all right well Good that's uh, that's this week make sure you subscribe come back next week bye guys guys thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed this reaction to the last of us uh also don't forget join twitch.tv slash blind wave monday wednesday both days calvin's playing the last of us part two which uh this might be up you might be able to check it out right now so twitch.tv slash blind wave description down below also patreon everything else is down there see you guys next week